Welcome back, everyone. Um, sorry for the delay. But I, I was relocating to Maryland, and I thought it was time to get back in the swing and post uh, another video clip up on YouTube. So today's lesson, we're going to go through how to make the uh, Chinese roast pork. Sometimes if you go into Chinatown, you'll see these hanging in the window. And uh, I'm going to give you the ingredients for the barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce, you use uh, 8 ounces of the hoisin sauce, 4 ounces of the ketchup, 2 ounces of pure honey, 1 heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 heaping tablespoon of minced fresh ginger root, 1 level teaspoon of 5 spice powder, and 12 drops each of red and yellow food color. This will, this make, will, uh, there's a food coloring called tomato shade which is kind of like an orangish color so you, you can, if you can't find that you make it by using combining the yellow and the red food color. You mix all those ingredients together and that will give you a very nice barbecue sauce and the piece of pork that you see on the chopping board I'm going to show you how to cut that up for the, to make roast pork. And also one of the viewers asked for a recipe for shrimp with lobster sauce. I'm going to save a little bit of that pork to make to chop up because that goes in the shrimp with lobster sauce recipe. So let's get started. I'm going to reposition this uh, camera. This pork we found on sale, like we always try and try and uh, save money. So you look for this was 99 cents uh, a pound on sale at the supermarket. So and it has a bone in it. So you have to follow the lines around the bone to get the bone out. And then, if you've seen that uh, pork hanging in the windows in the in Chinatown, you'll notice that it's cut in like long strips that are about. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have this piece of pork here. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna butterfly it with the knife. You see, I hold it here. So, and this helps the pork to get done faster too when when you barbecue it. So you. Cut it there and cut it here. And you'll wind up with two pieces of roast pork. Chinese roast pork. And the barbecue sauce that I gave you the, the ingredients for, I already have some made up here. The only thing you do... I'm going to get a mixing bowl to mix this up. in your mixing bowl and you generously shake some salt on it. Rub the salt into the pork and then you're gonna you're gonna put barbecue sauce on this pork. I have mine in a squeeze bottle and if you'll notice I cut the tip of the squeeze bottle off to make it a wide opening for bar for the barbecue sauce. And then you mix the pork up and then you can put this in your refrigerator and let it marinate for a couple of hours before you roast it. And the roasting process is you put it on a, a one of those uh, cookie sheets that has a little lip on it, put a piece of foil on it, put the, lay the pork on it, the oven will be at 350 degrees, and you'll put it in the oven for about a half an hour and you'll notice there'll be a lot of juice in there. So you have to drain that juice off so that, and then turn the pork over. And then uh, if you use a little bit of an additional sauce to baste it every maybe half an hour and it'll cook for like a one and a half hours and you'll it'll you'll come up with a really nice uh, Chinese roast pork when you're done and this you can use in, in stir fries with broccoli uh, string beans you can also uh, slice it in real thin strips and use it with ramen noodles for a lunch dish so it has a lot of uses and also you know you can use it for pork fried rice So that's how they make Chinese roast pork. And like when you put your oven on 350, a half an hour, you drain the juice off, you can turn the oven down to 325 and cook it for an additional hour. And every 20 minutes you turn it over and baste it with the sauce so it'll get a nice glaze on it. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this lesson. Uh, and I'm gonna do another clip on, on this trimmings from these bones and the shrimp with lobster sauce recipe I'm gonna, I will post in the near future. So stay tuned for that one.
and thanks for watching. Welcome back everybody. I just wanted to show you the finished product on the roast pork. Uh, like I say, this pork was cooked in the oven on 350 and after 20 minutes the water was drained off and then I basted it a total of three times with the sauce. So every 20 minutes you turn the pork over and baste it and this is the end result. And, and like I say, this can be used in a lot of different dishes. You can use it in stir fries or uh, sliced real thin with ramen noodles. There's, there's a lot of applications for this. And the pork was on sale for 99 cents a pound, so it's also a very good value. Thanks again for watching.